Effective pointers in fixing your dog's fur mats. Are you getting frustrated of not being able to fix your dog's fur mats no matter how many times you try to fix it yourself? Then, worry not guys, because Arthur, R, Q and A, specialist, has found the solutions for your frustrations. Hello everyone. This is Robo Jude, with another, Q and A, from our very own Dog Hub Forum. So Arthur, show us, what you've got in store for the viewers. A great big hello to everyone, and to you, Robo Jude. Yes, we actually have the solutions to all your fur matting problems from the Dog Help Forum. It goes like this. Hello guys, what techniques do you use when fixing up mats in your dog's coat? I use the divide and conquer method. Slowly divide the mats and attack them slowly but surely. What about you guys? Here's one of the great responses from our Dog Help Forum. Here are a few tips that might help in dealing with Ted fur. First of all, you need to plan the dematting process out well, depending on the size of your dog. A small dog will be fine to sit on your lap or on a cushion next to you on the sofa or on the floor if that is where you are sitting. Alternatively, you can get a large dog to lie at your feet or again sit on the floor next to him. Above all else, you should be comfortable and settled, because your dog will mimic your behavior. It may be that you want someone else there, as well, just to be on the safe side and for reassurance. Do you have anything else to add, Robo Jude? Yes, I have a little something to add, Arthur. As soon as your dog is settled, begin to fuss him, or her, and reassure verb, ballet, as well as, with a little petting. Slowly start brushing your dog, in areas that are not met, to get him, or her, used to the feel of the brush, and the fur. So, there you go guys, another splendid, Q&A, today. To add more dog topics, or to post your own questions for free, simply visit the Dog Help Forum at www.doghelp.info. Thanks for listening, and we hope to see you there.